Hey guys, it's getting started with Park. Today we're going to learn the canoe man knot. Uh, John Beasley of uh, Black Island taught me this knot. Uh, so what we're going to do is tie it uh, on my pretend hook here. We're going to tie it uh, several different times. I'm going to go ahead and tie it normal speed, then slow it down a little bit and slow it way down and then tie it uh, normal speed again. All right, so run your line through the hook. Make a loop behind, make a loop behind. Take the second loop, push it through the first loop, and then tighten it up. Canoe man knot, okay? So now we'll do it again a little bit slower. All right, so make a loop behind, make a loop behind. Second loop goes through the first loop, then the tag end comes through that second loop. All right, tighten it up, canoe man knot. Okay, now we're gonna do it real slow. All right. Okay, so through the hook, loop from behind, not in front, from behind. Okay, loop from behind. Second loop goes through the first loop and the tag end goes through the top of that first loop. Okay, canoe man knot. All right, now I'm gonna tie it at normal speed. Then I'm gonna show you the mistakes that I've seen a few people make. And then we'll talk a little bit about how the knot is most useful. And then I'm just gonna run my mouth because I like to run my mouth. Okay, so through the eye of the hook, loop behind, loop behind, loop through, then through and boom, canoe man knot. Okay. Now, the mistakes that I see people making. Now, you don't have to put it through the eye of the hook first, but you're fooling with the rest of the knot. It just seems like a good time to do it. All right, so you want to make the loop behind. Now, you see what I mean by behind as opposed to in front? We want it behind. Second loop, it's nice if that second loop is a little bit larger. It's behind also, mostly so it pooches out. Okay, now you want to come in from the front you don't want to come in from the back so come in from the front that's a mistake that I saw some people making all right now where you tighten it up gets to be important when you're actually using it fishing okay now what I do is I hold my left hand about where I want it to stop uh, that works a couple different ways you can handle it I'm gonna retie it real quick just to show you that because the size of the loop makes a little bit of difference so from behind from behind second one through the first tag in through now one thing you can do is tighten it up this way, pull them both, and then when you get ready, you can pull it down where you want it to be and then tighten up with your right hand. That works. What I typically do though is, I guess we might as well just tie it again since we're doing it. All right, <clears throat> so through the hook, loop from behind, larger loop from behind, second loop goes through the first loop, and then the tag end goes through it. What I do is just from the very beginning, hold my left hand where I want the knot to be, and then tighten up with my right. Okay, and that works too. All right, so, uh, like I said, thank you John Beasley for teaching me this knot. Apparently it gets used in salt water a lot, but it's a good loop knot. It gives your lure a little bit extra action uh, that it wouldn't have if the knot was tied directly to it. It might help a little bit with the physics of the knot and the hook pulling in a straight line so the tip of the hook pulls in a little bit better. Now it's a single stranded knot so it's not quite as strong as some of the others and it uh, there probably are stronger loop knots. The real value to this one to my mind is how easy it is to tie. Now, typically when you're fishing topwater lures or lures that have a lot of motion, you can get away with a little bit heavier line and I think that makes it really nice. So I feel like this is a good knot for topwater, particularly monofilament. There's been somebody else on the internet that said it does better with monofilament than it does with fluorocarbon. I wouldn't doubt that uh, at all. Uh, so in any case, uh, uh, canoe man knot, it's a great one if you're gonna learn one knot. Uh, it's not your strongest, but it's a good one. It's easy, fairly easy to tie when it's hard to see, when it's windy, when it's dark. So in any case, so guys, thank y'all for watching this.